Now, a matter of days after it held a scaled-down military parade in Pyongyang, North Korea this morning announced to the world that it test-fired long-range cruise missiles on Saturday and Sunday. These launches coming some six months since its last such provocation. The regime's state-run media claims Kim Jong-un was not present during those launches. Our defense ministry correspondent Kim Ji-on starts us off. The Pentagon has reportedly broken its silence on North Korea's test launches of a long-range cruise missile amid stalled denuclearization talks with the U.S. Citing a release by the U.S. Indo-Pacific Command, the AFP reported Monday that the U.S. criticized the North's missile tests, saying they are a threat to neighboring countries and the international community. The North state-run Korean Central News Agency reported the test firings took place Saturday and Sunday and hit targets 1,000 kilometers away, proving the new strategic weapon's effectiveness and practicality. It reported the missiles traveled for 7,580 seconds along oval and Pattern 8 flight orbits in the air above its territorial land and waters. The missiles flew successfully using propulsion power generated by the newly created turbine blast engine and passed technical indicators with flying colors, which included detailed tests of missile parts, scores of engine ground thrust tests, various test flights, control and guidance tests, and warhead power tests. The test firings took place without leader Kim Jong-un present. Instead, senior military official and presidium member of the North's Politburo of the Ruling Workers' Party, Park jong chun watched the launch. According to the KCNA, Park said the missiles are another great manifestation of the tremendous capabilities of the North's defense science and technology and the munitions industry. He stressed the need for the field of national defense science to go all out to increase defense capabilities, the war deterrence of the country, and to keep making achievements in meeting the grand and long-term targets of securing war deterrence. Details of the recent launch were not revealed by South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff. The South Korean military is in close consultation with the U.S. in analyzing the recent test fire. The recent launches came after North Korea held a scaled-down military parade last Thursday to mark the 73rd state founding anniversary. The test firings of cruise missiles, which unlike ballistic missiles, are not a violation of United Nations sanctions and appear to be a demonstration of the regime's military power through low-level provocations. This is the fourth provocation by North Korea this year. The North fired cruise missiles right after Biden's inauguration as U.S. president on January 22nd, as well as on March 21st. It fired ballistic missiles on March 25th. Kim Tian, Arirang News.